Project Loon works by putting up a whole bunch of small, relatively inexpensive Heilstu balloons that circle the Earth in a band and beam the internet to the ground. Today in New Zealand, we're announcing some really exciting early tests of Project Loon, where we're using our high altitude balloons to bring the internet to people on the ground right here in New Zealand. We're hoping with Project Loon to do at least two things. One is that we want to be able to bring the internet to many, many people who currently don't have the internet right now. And two, we want to be able to provide the internet to people who currently have it, but might lose it as a result of a natural disaster. Internet access is such an important issue because right now two-thirds of the planet isn't connected and can't participate in the conversations we need to have about how to solve the great big pressing problems that are facing our planet today. The immediate benefit to people who are just getting online is stuff like being able to know what the weather is going to be like. If you're a farmer, that's hugely important. Or how much can I expect to sell my produce or my handicrafts for? It will also bring benefits like improved education, improved health care, and ultimately bringing people into this great big global conversation about how to solve our really pressing problems. There are a whole bunch of things that come together to make Project Loon possible now, but the most important is a conceptual leap. We had to decide it would be easier to have lots and lots of small balloons drifting with the winds than maybe one great big stratospheric dirigible fighting the winds. And the upshot is, it's easier for us to give the internet to everyone than just a few people. For Project Loon to work, first of all, we had to think about things in an entirely new way. And then we had to make big advances in the state of ballooning technology. And then we had to make big advances in our ability to plan for a fleet of lots and lots of balloons. And by bringing all of these things together, we hope to make Project Loon a reality for many, many people soon. Many people today think that the internet is sort of a solved problem. We have DSL, we have LTE, we have all these technologies that a lot of us in the rich world take for granted. The problem is that these technologies don't really work for two-thirds of the world's population. Saying that I can take a satellite phone to remote places in sub-Saharan Africa and get an internet connection doesn't really work for people who are living on a dollar a day or less. So Project Loon is about bringing the internet to the places it couldn't go before, not because there wasn't some other way to do it, but because there wasn't any cost-effective way of delivering this incredibly powerful thing that we all take for granted. There are lots of challenges that make it very hard to deliver the internet in many parts of the world. Some places are really, really remote. If you wanted to lay fiber across the Saharan Desert, that would be an incredibly time-consuming and expensive process. Or over mountains, or through jungles. And there are places in this world where it will never be cost-effective to use these conventional technologies to reach. The internet is not a solved problem. Many people think that because it's possible to deliver the internet someplace, that people must have it. But in many places, in two, for two-thirds of the world's population, it's not cost-effective.